some work done this morning it's about I don't know, around 11 so I'm running into CVS because I need to pick up some stuff so come along green she green she flyer oh look it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleansing gel you all were asking me about this like have I tried it now I mean how many times a day do you guys think I, I can wash my face <laughs> um, Honestly, I uh, I would probably choose the CeraVe cleansers over this. This has fragrance in it, um, and the CeraVe ones are much more gentle. It's nine dollars and seventy nine cents for six ounces here at CVS. So I don't really think this is worth anybody's time or dollar. FYI, the Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. This is probably just a water, a more watery version than the. Um, than the gel cream, okay? The gel cream they have here at CVS, they only have the water gel gel cream. This guy's has fragrance in it. The one that you have to get, the good one, is the um, extra dry sensitive skin one. If you get this one, it's got fragrance in it, and a lot of you all complain about this one, but the ultra dry or extra dry sensitive skin one is the one that you want. I haven't tried the Beauty 360 one though, the CVS brand, um, but let's see, they put fragrance in it, so won't be trying that one. So far, Hadalabo wins, and uh, Hadalabo and Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry, they win. Extra Dry has the perk over Hadalabo Super Plumping Gel Cream in that it does not have methyl chloroisothiazinolone, which is a preservative that's completely safe, but sometimes people can develop an allergy to it so if you have an allergy or sensitivity to methyl chloroisothiazin alone choose the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry Sensitive Skin one if you want a humectant to put on your face when it's wet underneath your moisturizer just to hold on to a little bit of extra water all of that for really not a whole lot honestly like I said yesterday in yesterday's vlog, you really don't need the gel cream, the gel boost, the booster, the hyaluronic acid boost. Um, I just happen to like it and I have it and I've repurchased it and it's just kind of become a habit in my skincare routine, but I think I can go without it is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I personally would choose this um, La Roche-Posay Tolerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser over the Hydro Boost one because it's... Um, a lot cheaper and this one doesn't have fragrance in it and is really nice I like this one pick this one over the Hydro Boost uh, gel cleanser oh you guys are really loving the Cetaphil gentle foaming cleanser look they have it snuck in here in Brian Zellickson's lineup that I reviewed at one point in a CVS drive-by <laughs> um, but anyways uh, this one is uh, fragrance free good job Cetaphil um, I imagine this is not much different than their, um, this is just probably a foaming version of their old school uh, gentle skin cleanser, which I never had a great success with personally. And by efficacy, I mean success in its ability to remove my mascara, but anyways. I think Simple did a much better job than Neutrogena in their water boosting micellar magic gel wash here because they Unilever chose to not put fragrance in this um, which I really like this one is is much better um, see what happens is they mislead you into thinking that sensitive skin 
exclude you, okay? If, even if you're not sensitive, you should still choose these kinds of products that are fragrance free. So you all also asked me a lot about the Noxema Classic Clean. It has fragrance and it also has eucalyptus, which is not a good ingredient in skincare products. and can be very irritating. I suppose that's what makes it feel tingly and refreshing. Yeah, if you have rosacea, tingling and refreshing is not anything that you want to be putting on your face that will make you red and that red can last. So I'm not really a fan of Noxema. I do kind of want to try the Hyaluronic Acid uh, Hydro Boost Mascara that they have, see how it compares to my Ride or Die Never Abandoned Maybelline Colossal. Who has tried this? Is this actually any good? I'm going to measure my blood pressure just for fun. Oh, look at this fun little reminder to color your way to five a day. Why is the pineapple brown? One hundo over seventy-five. Boom. Oh, I'm almost out of my um my Bath and Body Works candles. I'm almost done. I'm wondering if these uh, American Home Yankee Candle CVS ones are really good. Sunny sandals. Oh, banana walnut bread. But I mean, let's be honest, banana nut bread, basically dessert. <laughs> you island made that coconut. Mm -hmm. Love my candles. Apparently this guy has a YouTube channel. What up? Give it a thumbs up. I remember having a big one of these as a child, one of these cupcake surprise dolls. Um, it was surprisingly entertaining. And it smelled like, like a blueberry muffin. I remember that. Well, hey guys, so I'm back to my apartment and I think I'm gonna whip up something to eat. I'm thinking I'm gonna have a smoothie bowl. It's kind of about um, late afternoon, t afternoon time, so. I'm gonna have, yes, and I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. I actually have a little bit of coffee uh, that I didn't drink left over from this morning. I'm just gonna, a little bit of the espresso that I make in my Bialetti. So I'm gonna have the last little bits of that with some, uh, I just add boiling water, so it comes to hot at, by that point. But yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use those uh, Kirkland um, Berry Blend that I uh, get at Costco. Um, and a third of a, a frozen banana, some of the berries, and uh, some of that vanilla um, muscle farm protein powder. And then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do as far as mixins and toppings. All right, so this smoothie bowl is sort of a um, throwback, if you will, to the Berry Berry Kick cereal. Um, I'm gonna be using the three berry blend that I get at Costco. They also have an organic variety of these. It's pretty good. Um, okay, but even though this is three berries, Okay, I'm one of those people, however, that I'm sort of neurotic and I, I go through the bag with a spoon and I pick out the berries that are all the same for the base of the smoothie because I want it to be a nice, even color. So I think I'm going to do, um, so I'm gonna gather, I want this to be pink, so I'm just gonna gather the raspberries out of it. <laughs> I'm just like a kid, you know? You go through the cereal and you pick out all the marshmallows. That's kind of what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm picking out all the red fruits. There's some thicker red fruit. Nope, that's a little bit too. Yeah, that's red enough, but it won't, it won't contaminate. There's some bigger red raspberries in here and then some smaller ones. Maybe they're like kind of red berries, I'm not sure. You guys have a fa Did you guys have a favorite breakfast cereal growing up as a child? Mine was Raisin Bran. <laughs> that was a favorite. Yep, yep, yep. That and um, corn checks. I liked corn checks. And then my favorite um, sweet cereal was um, Kicks. Or no, Pops. Pops was my favorite um, sugary cereal. Pops and Kicks. I liked Kicks. Not the Berry Berry Kicks, though. 
Because one of the annoying things about Berry Berry Kicks was I, I preferred kicks, like plain kicks, and then they came out with the Berry Berry ones, and you were under the impression that if you picked out all the pink and purple blobs, that it would just be regular kicks. And that was not the case, because they had infused it in the same um, artificial berry sucrose um, sweetener, the entire cereal, and it was just different food colorings in there. But yeah, way to go, General Mills. And I like Honey Nut Cheerios, but sometimes, I don't know, in the mid-90s, they up this, the, they like started coating the Honey Nut Cheerios in this kind of sugary coating, and they just started tasting shiny. They looked shellac, so I stopped liking Honey Nut Cheerios sometime in the mid-90s when they started using that weird shiny shellac. Okay, so we've got um, raspberries down there, and about roughly a third of a frozen banana. And I like mine kind of icy. <laughs> and I'm also gonna just put in a little bit of cinnamon. And like most people, most people put all of their smoothie ingredients in and blend it at one time. But I find that um, sometimes when I do that, the protein powder kind of gloms onto one side and gets stuck there. So I do it in piecemeal fashion. And I'm just gonna be using some silk cashew milk. Cashew milk is my favorite uh, nut milk. I find that it's a lot creamier than, than almond milk. I like almond milk though. I like to change up my nut milks. I also um, wanna start making hemp seed milk because I think that's a lot faster even to do than making your own almond milk, which is really easy. Honestly, to make your own almond milk, it's pretty easy. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna put it on my Ninja here. All right, and it's partially blended, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a scoop of the protein powder. See how it's, this, it's a nice um, purpley red? Whereas, have you, ever, have you ever done a smoothie that's like um, a lot of good ingredients and it tastes really good, but it's like this baby poop brown color? <laughs> yeah, so I like to at least start out with some uniformity in, the effort, in, an, effort to, uh, in an effort to reduce that uh, unsightliness. And I'm gonna splash in a little bit more almond milk. Yeah, see how there's a little bit of the protein powder stuck there? If I hadn't, um, if I had not done it piecemeal like this, sometimes it really sticks in there. It's a glom. So now I'm just gonna transfer everything into my uh, Pier 1 mug bowl here. First I tap off the, tap off the blades into the bottom. Particle behind. Better than that awful Halo Top stuff that we tried last weekend. <laughs> that stuff is terrible. Ooh, doesn't that look magical? I'm gonna put this in the fridge um, while I assemble my toppings. I'm not sure if I showed, but this is the protein powder that I use, the Muscle Farm Organic Protein Plant-Based Performance in Vanilla. Um, but now I'm going to make the, um, the mix-in. So I'm just gonna use one of these um, low-sodium rice cakes that I got at um, Kroger. These are just brown rice. That's the only, brown rice and salt, and these are the low-sodium kind, but you could use any kind of rice cake that you like. But I like to get the, the plain one, so I'm gonna get a rice cake. And this is a Ziploc bag that I got um, one time with uh, getting raisins from the bulk bin, so I'm gonna repurpose it for this little food craft project, if you will. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in the bag, woohoo! Then I'm also gonna use some of these reduced fat coconut shreds that I got yesterday in my iHerb haul and showed. Um, I'm just gonna put like, I don't know, roughly a tablespoon of those in there. 
And I also get this on iHerb. This is the uh, Frontier Co-op Ceylon Cinnamon. I'm gonna dust a little bit of that in there. And I'm just gonna make it into like cereal now. I'm gonna make use of the muscle farm here to mash it up. You can also use puffed rice cereal, but I can never find that stuff when uh, anywhere. And when I find it, it's so it's really expensive. And these at Kroger are like a dollar, so I just get those instead and do this. And then I can jazz it up however I like. But yeah, that's basically my cereal. And what's tasty about this is the rice cereal is just kind of bland, right? But it. Um, soaks up into the smoothie bowl, and A, thickens it up a little bit and starts to absorb some of the smoothie tastes. So that's cool. So we'll just kind of nest everybody together here. And this is not near, these are not nearly enough toppings, right? We need some more toppings. Oh, and you know on Instagram, the bowl, the bowl never has drips, right? Because <laughs> that's reality. All right, and I'm just gonna put some goji berries on top. I'm almost out of goji berries. I've gotta remember to get some more of those this week at H Mart. I think I'm gonna go to H Mart this week for groceries. Woohoo! And now we can top it with the actual mix of, of berries. <laughs> And then I always like to drizzle, I like to drizzle a little bit of this blackstrap molasses on it. This stuff is really good. Um, you just need a little, a little drizz. Woohoo. And I'm obsessed with sesame seeds. Uh, that's definitely not, not part of the Berry Kicks lineup, but I don't care. <laughs> this is an adult cereal. I suppose, I don't know, I think kids would like it. Speaking of kids, let's bring in my boo. Totoro. Ta -da! We have our Berry Berry Kicks Bowl. Woohoo, see how yummy that looks? Ta da! Yeah, it, it comes out like, like almost like cereal that starts it starts to absorb the the smoothie bowl so and then the berries kind of thaw down in there oh and it gets sort of runny and it's just like cereal it's just like a kind of an adult berry cereal so that's what I'm gonna have now along with a little Totoro coffee here with beauty dust da -da -da -da. so well hey guys I just uh, got back from the gym got some work done and went to the gym and uh, got out of the shower can't believe it's Sunday night already, winding down. I'm uh, channeling Delilah tonight. I miss Delilah, you know? I uh, When I was in college and in uh, med school, Delilah was the only thing that um, I could study by that wasn't super distracting as far as, far as uh, audio visual kinds of things. It's perfect because the music was like nothing you're really gonna, you know, rock out to but uh, she would interject at moments when you needed to look up and take a, take a little eye and mental break. It was perfect. So um, I wish, I, I think you could still, you can still uh, listen to her on, what is it, Sirius Radio or the Cozy Station or something like that. But um, anyways, guys, so I, um, I wanted to bring it back this week. I reviewed the Cer Ceramedics, um, Earth Science Ceramedics line, their face wash, their body lotion, which I do really like a lot, um, as well as, ooh, I got a I got a once daily contact lens that's somehow stuck on there. That's disgusting. But um, 
I like both of these a lot as I reviewed in that that video um, and I think you guys would too they are a bit they are quite a bit more pricey however than in comparison to the CeraVe which um, you know there's question mark if it's cruelty free and so I reviewed this brand for you guys um, who who are seeking cruelty free skincare products I didn't mention however in that video just to kind of keep it focused um, another comparator I guess you could you, you may may already be asking about is um, the the FA B, the first aid beauty one um, that a lot of you like that it's cruelty free I'm not sure if that's vegan actually um, but uh, I know a lot of you really really like the first aid beauty cleanser and the moisturizing cream in the tub as well as I think they have a I mean they have a ton of products um, and I've tried a lot of their products out um, here and there and I do kind of like them so I think that the extra gentle cleanser um, from Ceramedics I haven't co price compared this to to first aid beauty's face wash as far as ingredients though um, you know this one is really Really, really super gentle. The first aid beauty one has licorice root extract in it, which is pretty, pretty gentle in and of itself. That's kind of the one sort of fragrancy type of ingredient. I think it also has niacinamide in it. But I swear, whenever I use that first aid beauty one, it's definitely it definitely has some kind of brightening effect. And I, I I'm always like kind of blown away by that um, about it because it's, it's a face wash. You know, nothing, none of the um, logical active ingredients in it sit on the face long enough to really inhibit. Uh, you know melanosome biogenesis and that kind of thing so I'm always kind of um, you know wowed by that but you know this is really wonderful this facial cleanser by Ceramedics I think you guys would like it a lot it is super gentle I don't think it would cause a problem in any sort of skin type and the ceramides are vegan um, rice derived as I reviewed in that I'm really liking it um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good night. My mom, um, if you missed yesterday's little update, my mom had uh, some stuff going on this weekend, a prior obligation. She is more than well, so if you're worried about her, like, where's mom? Is she okay? Yes, my mom is more than fine. Um, I miss her. <laughs> I'm sure you guys miss her, but don't worry. <laughs> She'll be back. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed Just Me this weekend. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.